Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com. Today I'm visiting family in Florida, but I wanted to show you guys a tandem bike that I built a little while ago and show you how easy it is to build one of these tandem electric bicycles. Now, tandem electric bicycles, or two-person electric bicycles, are really expensive retail. They start at somewhere like $3,000, and to me that's just crazy because you can easily build one of these yourself for less than a third of that price. So now I'm going to show you all the components that go into one of these bikes and how easy it is to do one of these conversions. Now for a tandem electric bicycle, you need, just like for any electric bicycle, four basic parts to make a conversion. And that is the battery, the motor, an electronic speed controller, and lastly, a throttle or something to tell the bike to go. Now in my case, I went with a hub motor for the motor because I didn't want to use a mid-drive. On tandem bikes, you've got a bit of a weird crank situation with the two cranks, the front one's on the left side. It can get a little more complicated to put a mid-drive motor, like a BBS02 or BBS HD, on these types of bikes. So I think it's much easier to go with just a basic hub motor for a tandem electric bicycle. And I chose a 1,000 watt hub motor. All of these parts actually came together in a kit that I got on Amazon. Actually, the bike I got on Amazon too. I'll put a link to everything in the description below so you can see which parts I used if you want to do the same, or you can follow along with a kit from basically anywhere. For the battery, I went with a 48 volt, um, uh, 10 amp hour lithium battery, and I've got this double decker rack here, which is nice, you can still use the top. And for the controller, I went with a 25 amp limit controller that comes in the kit. Now, if you want more range, you can go with a larger battery, uh, you know, 15 or 20 amp hours would probably be good if you want extra range. But for me, this gets, you know, probably around 10 to 15 miles when you're not pedaling more if you pedal and that's perfectly enough for me you know just cruising around kind of thing. Uh, lastly there's a thumb throttle up on the handlebars and it's just you know a simple throttle comes with the kit and has um, some lights here to let you know how much battery you have left. Now if you get everything together in a kit that's what I recommend because it's going to be so much easier to make the connections. And the last tip that I recommend for an electric tandem conversion is to locate the motor, the battery, and the electronic speed controller as close to each other as possible. That way you've got less wiring to deal with, and the only custom uh, modification you have to make to the kit is to lengthen the throttle wire. So here what I did was basically I just cut the throttle wire in the middle and spliced in some extra lengths of wire to make sure it could reach from the handlebars all the way back this long bike to the electronic speed controller. Now how do you install this kit? It's very easy. Basically, you start with a normal uh, pedal bicycle, like this one that I got. You flip this sucker upside down, you take the rear wheel out, and you put in this new hub motor wheel. It slips into the dropouts just like the old wheel came out. Uh, you tighten down the axle nuts, and then you can flip the bike back over. It's got its new motor in it. Next, uh, you install this rack, and in the rack, you're gonna slide the battery. And then I mounted the controller right underneath the rack because it keeps it all together out of the way. You don't really see it but you can sort of stick the controller anywhere you want. I just like hiding it under the rack. Then you plug in all the connectors. You're gonna have uh, wires coming out of the motor and wires coming out of the battery, and those will all plug into the connectors on the controller. And finally, you take your throttle, and you stick it up here on the handlebars, and then you run your wire all the way back. And I used cable ties around here just to hold the wires in place. Then you plug that wire from your throttle into your electronic speed controller as well. And that's all you gotta do after you've done that You've got a working electric tandem bicycle. So this is something that's really easy to do and again I always recommend doing your own electric bicycle conversion if you can because A it's going to be cheaper and B you're going to understand what's going on in your bike so if you ever need to make repairs or when you need to do maintenance it's that much easier for you. Alright last thing is to choose the randomly chosen commenter for my last video to win one of my books. Either the ultimate do-it-yourself e-bike guide shows you how to do bicycle or electric bicycle conversions or DIY lithium batteries that teaches you how to build your own lithium batteries. And the randomly chosen commenter from la my last video was Doug who is mercilessly making fun of the rusty chain on the bike I showed in my last video. So thank you very much, Doug. I'll have you know that's a little urban camouflage. Keeps my bike from getting stolen. Um, but uh, thank you for commenting. Just let me know in a private message which book you'd like and where to send it. Then anybody else that wants to win one of my books, you can just leave a comment on this video, anything you want to say. And hopefully you'll be chosen as the randomly selected commenter in my next video. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.